are coastal wetlands and they occupy the intertidal zone between the open water and the terrestrial environment. If you didn't have mangroves, the interior part of the land where people live would be exposed directly to storm damage or wind and waves. They're also major habitats. A lot of the fishes that feeds a lot of the world inhabit the mangroves, at least at some point during their life. We know a lot about the importance of mangroves, but on the other side, mangroves are one of the most threatened ecosystems in the world. I'm Candy Feller. I'm an ecologist here at the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center, and I study mangroves. What first got me interested in mangroves, I was asked to go to Belize many years ago to do some scientific illustration. That was really the first time I'd ever spent any quality time in the mangroves, and it was like the beginning of my life. I just gradually shifted more into the research, and eventually I discovered that I needed to go back to graduate school in order to be an ecologist, and that was how I got going. I've been working on the consequences of climate change for mangroves. The winters are not getting quite so cold, and it's the winter temperatures that limits the northward expansion of mangroves. So as the winters get less cold, mangroves are able to establish in areas that they couldn't previously. Mangroves are expanding in these places where the climate is getting a little warmer, but on the whole, mangroves are one of the most threatened ecosystems. They're threatened primarily by conversion to other types of systems. Mangroves are being converted into aquaculture, primarily for shrimp farms. Mangroves are also being converted to vacation homes or resorts. Why should anyone care about mangroves? You find mangroves along coastlines that have coral reefs or seagrass beds, systems that need to have clear, low nutrient water in order to persist. So as water runs off from the land, mangroves trap that water, trap that sediment before it gets out to these more sensitive ecosystems. Am I optimistic? We know a lot about the importance of mangroves and are able to communicate that, and people understand it. But I was in Texas recently working in the mangroves, and I ran into some fishermen. They wanted to know what I was doing out there in the mangroves, and I told them, and they thought that was a great thing. They were convinced that mangroves were very important to them to be able to catch fish. And they knew, I didn't have to tell them. When I run into people like that, yeah, I'm optimistic. <laughs>